Whenever we see someone with a diagnosed colon cancer, really surgery in most instances is the first therapy that, that people will undergo. Mostly because uh, when, when people undergo a colectomy, the specimen that we get provides all the final staging information. And so we will know about how thick the tumor is and how, how far it penetrates the wall of the colon. And then more importantly, it will tell us whether or not there's any spread to any of the lymph nodes. And then we can decide, um, do they need any other treatment? We literally cut a little portion of normal colon around the tumor so that we get around it completely and then we take the lymph nodes out. In, in most instances, we're, we're taking out about a foot, uh, 12 inches of colon out of seven feet. So most people can compensate very well uh, with the rest of the colon after a colectomy. The trend really has been over the last couple of years that we're doing more and more surgery laparoscopically as opposed to open. Really right now it's, it's probably uh, about 70% laparoscopic and about 30% open. The steps for a laparoscopic colectomy versus an open colectomy are really the same. The, the differences are the size of the incision and in laparoscopic colectomy we're using uh, a camera and some very uh, small stick-like instruments to do the dissection as opposed to a retractor with the abdomen completely open. So it's uh, the same operation, just getting into the abdomen is a little different. The patients now who are really good for laparoscopic surgery are those with either small polyps, small tumors, and, and really reasonable body habits. For patients who have really need an open colectomy, people who have multiple previous surgical operations where trying to get in there and getting through all the scar tissue may be difficult. And the other ones that are more classic for open operations are really those that have very large tumors or very bulky lymph nodes. The surgery uh, normally will take between two and three hours, again, depending on if someone's had uh, surgery previously and how big the tumor is. Once you get the operation done, you get to the recovery room, uh, it's really getting the initial pain under control. Um, and with each ensuing day, uh, the pain will decrease. Um, with the laparoscopic technique, obviously, there's less pain. Um, and then the biggest thing we're actually keeping people in the hospital for is the return of bowel function. So we don't know exactly why, but the intestines go to sleep for a day or two after surgery. Um, and uh, we're just waiting for the intestines be able to process your food such that you're not throwing up and feeling miserable, really. So the, the indications for going home are that your pain's under control and you're able to take an adequate diet and most importantly, just stay hydrated. The typical length of stay, it, though it has been decreasing through the, through the years, um, for an open operation, it usually ranges between five and seven days. And for a laparoscopic operation, it usually averages between four to six days. So on average, you save about a day with a laparoscopic procedure. The important things to look at when you're looking at a surgeon is, is finding someone who uh, you know, has, is well-trained. I do about uh, a little over 100 colectomies uh, a year. Uh, in my practice, and I, I think most people who do that type of surgery are in that kind of in that kind of ballpark as far as numbers. It's important to try to get a recommendation from your internist or friends and family. When we do the colectomy and get the pathological information, then it's really up to us to sort of con consult with medical oncology to determine whether or not they think chemotherapy would be indicated. So the best way to avoid all of this is really to keep going with your screening. And I can't tell you the number of people that come to see me as a surgeon who are in their early 50s who have colon cancer who said, oh, I just, I, I meant to get a colonoscopy, but it got busy at, the war, at work, it got busy at home, and they delayed, and now at the age of 53, they have colon cancer, whereas at age 50, they might have had a, a benign polyp that could have been removed endoscopically.